hey guys it's Richie today I am returning my Honda click 160 so I have to go return my Honda click 160 because I rented it for a month and today is the day I need to return it so I'll give a little review as we're riding along actually I'll I'll ride up here and I'll do like a short walk around of the bike Let's do it on, let's do it over here. Is there a space here? Yeah, let's just do it right here. Just a random spot that I need to turn at. Okay, so this is the bike. It's kind of dirty now since I've been riding it. This is a Honda Click 160. Uh, it's a little bit less than 160 cc's. I think it's like 157. And I'm not sure what the horsepower is. I think it's like 12 or 14 or something around there. It's got some pretty decent power though. I think it goes pretty well. So you can pull out in the traffic it pretty easy and just gun it and it goes. Unlike the, the 125 I've rented before. And it definitely feels a lot slower. Okay. It's got a auto start and stop. So if you come to a light... Or come to an intersection it'll shut the engine off but you have to come to like a full stop and have like the brakes on and then it'll trigger the the stop function and then once you get on the throttle it'll start again which i can demonstrate now there we go so it turns off and then it turns right back on but sometimes it gets a little bit annoying so you can toggle it on and off okay we have to go here hey right, this thing's plenty quick for riding in the city so one thing i like about it is that it's it's only i think it's only slightly bigger than the 125 like a little bit wider but it's like less than an inch, I think. But the the main thing on the on most of these motorbikes is the handlebar width, because that's what you're getting, and like the width of the mirrors here, because that's what you get close to the car mirrors when you're driving between them, which you guys will see in a minute here when we get to the main street. Let's see, can we get around? Okay. See, things like that, that's what the 150 is good for. Just blast right past those guys. Okay, now we're on uh, Ekamai Road. There's always a bunch of traffic here. Well, that wasn't the best maneuver. One thing I hate about this part is there's all these seams. You get your tires caught in. So this part, I like this color on this micro here, it's pretty nice. So th this isn't like super tight, oh that's a weird BMW, X2, IX2, huh strange, kind of stuck here by this bus, let's look at this BMW a little closer, it's kind of a nice gray blue on it. Yeah, that's a uh, thing I like about the bike is it's narrow. It's easy to get through traffic. You have the uh, the step through part right here that makes it easy to get on and off, and the bikes are all parked close together. Uh, you don't have to lift your leg, but there's also a little hook. I don't know if you can see it. This hook right here that you can put your uh, like your grocery bag on from Seven Eleven or. If you get a drink that comes in a bag, you can put it in there. It's got this pocket here. So I always chuck a water bottle in there. There's another storage right here where you can see my charging cable coming out. Because there's also a USB port in there. Oh, fuck. Come on, dude. It's fucking grab riders sometimes. I don't know.
we'll just follow this HRV. It's always kind of a mess going through these intersections. Uh, oh, come on guys. What are you doing? I always decide to ride at the worst times. So I actually haven't been riding this bike that much because it's either been raining or the, when I wanna go somewhere, it's like rush hour traffic and it's like crazy shit like this. Oh, watch out for this guy. Oh, damn it. It's fucking MG drivers. Yeah, so for around the city, this bike is pretty great. Uh, it's just some of the longer trips, like riding an hour, hour and a half out to Bangkok Drag Avenue, where it's not the greatest, as the roads are really bad on the way out there in some spots. The suspension isn't really up for it, and the smaller wheels. But like also the, the seating position isn't as comfortable when you're on some like long stretches say like if you were riding a a PCX or a Yamaha N Max. So we have to go all the way down to Udam Suk. So we're at Pra Kanong right now for the BT the next BTS station. So we're two or three BTS stations away from where we need to go. I feel like I'm in the wrong lane. It is definitely always exciting driving in this traffic because there's always just like madness. You're always trying to find your way through. Oh, check out this D-Max. Nice. It's got some pretty dished wheels on it. Let's go behind the ambulance. All right. So this is Prokinong. There's some, um, what's around here? There's like kind of a food market street over there or on the left. There's like a mall and like shopping area. Ah, oh, this ambulance didn't give any room. And we got the big Thailand post over here. I've had to pick up an international package at that one. And they charged me a bunch of money for, uh, for something I already owned. <laughs> my dad sent me my rain jacket. And they charged me about $40 tax on it. Even though it's used. And I've owned the thing for years, so... Oh well. And you do always kind of have to ride with like a finger on each brake. Oh, I didn't realize my turn signal was on that whole time. Here's Anut. And the BTS for Anut is just up ahead. But this is a pretty popular area. I might actually start looking for a place in this area. It's a bit a bit more local. Less tourists, though there's still like an expat community around here, I guess. There's supposed to be a lot of good places to eat around there. Uh, oh shit, there's some wrecked cars. The big uh, Lotus is, is right over here. And on this road, there's also like a good uh, bar complex and you can get some good food over there too. There's a place that makes some pretty good hamburgers when I'm looking for some American food every once in a while. Yeah, and there's like the little street market outside of Lotuses that you can see right over there. 
Actually, they kind of moved some of it. Oh. I'm trying to get run over. I've had much closer calls. <laughs> Oh, there's a Hilux Champ. Yeah. I want to get one of those things. If I ever start making real money in YouTube, I'm going to get a Hilux Champ. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, Bong Chak. I knew there was another, another one. Oh. Ow. That was the thing I was talking about. I just went over that manhole cover that's only sunken down a little bit but kind of hurt my ass a little bit i think i might actually go rent a yamaha xsr 155 next and check that out because it's like it's 150 cc motorcycle and it's supposed to have another like two inches of suspension travel on top of this and also bigger wheels I think it's like a 19 front, 17 rear or something like that. Yeah, that should soak up the bumps more. But it'll also have, uh, I'll be dealing with a manual, like having to deal with the hand clutch and everything, renting a, a regular motorcycle. I always forget how far Udomsuk is from Tong Lo. So I had a classmate that lived in uh, in Udomsuk and he'd have to go to a soak every day for school. It was a little further out than I wanted to go because I, I still wanted to be in walking distance if I like missed the train or just decided that I didn't want to ride on the train. Because a lot of times we would get out of class and it'd be rush hour. And there's just so many people. It was like being in Tokyo. Getting on the trains over there. Everyone's just shoving on. But with less manners. <laughs> I don't know where this fucking thing's taking me now. Turn left. Where? What is this shit? Okay, I guess we're going through like a neighborhood. Oh, it's like a shortcut to avoid the intersection. Oh, Subaru. That is one brand. I'm a. I like Subarus. I've had what five of them or six. I don't understand why people want Subarus here. Like you don't need all-wheel drive, like anywhere. Especially not in Bangkok. And they do have reliability issues. Especially for a place that's so hot. I wouldn't want to deal with like possible head gasket failures because they are a thing. They're much less of a thing now. But this shit still happens. It's just a design of the boxer engine and how much it heat cycles. It just destroys the head gaskets. Yeah, that was an interesting street. This guy's on his Forza 350. I want to try one of those too. See how a, a 300 class scooter is. Or a maxi scooter, I guess they're called. See how that is driving through here. Because they're... They don't seem like... Incredibly big like compared to a PCX but they definitely are bigger like the wheelbase is longer so you wouldn't like the turning radius wouldn't be as good so I wonder how getting through traffic is but I don't think they're so wide that you can't get through like lane splitting areas how far do I have to go oh two and a half kilometers okay I can speed it up a little bit yeah, in the street they have song cows. I don't really see song cows in a lot of other areas. Let's see, we'll come up on this one right here. So here's a song cow. There's some kids in there from school. The school just let out. 
So they take that, and I think it's like 10 or 15 baht. I haven't taken one here. I've only taken them in uh, Pattaya. So I don't know what the cost is or where they go. But even some of the ones in Pattaya... Oh, and I've ridden them in Chiang Mai too, but they operate kind of different. But you can never tell where the route is or like where it's going. So I've found maps before and it shows you where they go, but you can't tell which truck goes where because they're all the same color. The numbers on them are meaningless. Even if you ask a guy if he's going to go down a certain road, he'll just say yes and then turn down a road that you didn't want to go down. And I've just gotten off before because the guy went the wrong way. Like, what are you doing, man? And I'm also asking him in Thai, so there was no mix-up. It was just pure stupidity. Or wanting to get free money cause even though they're taking you the wrong way. Or scam, you know? It's weird. Yeah, let's get around this van. Oh, there's another van there. Oh, shit. All right. We'll just cruise along. Yeah, I think this area would be decent to live in. I mean, we have an Isuzu dealer right here. I would just go in there and ogle the D-Maxes. I think we're turning here pretty soon. Okay, and we are... Oh. And here's the shop right here. NP Motor. And we've arrived. So that was my little review on the Honda Click 160 and the ride over to the motorbike shop, which they also sell motorbikes here. So you can rent and then buy. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.